If you're looking for some winter adventure in the great Oregon outdoors, but you're not a skilled downhill skier or snowboarder, and you've little interest in learning how it's done, how about something a little less intense, but also lots of fun, perfect for youngsters and those of us young at heart. Hi there, Grant McComey here, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And this week, it's all about adventure that's less intense as we journey into the Mount Hood National Forest and discover snowplay. Everybody ready? Three, two, one, go! The snowplay has taken off. It's popular. You don't have to have lessons to ride a tube. You don't need any sophisticated equipment. Can we do it again? Yeah, totally. Let's do it again. You just come out and have fun. The secret's out. On a day this nice, that's no surprise for the crowds at Ski Bowl Resort near Mount Hood. Folks speed down a groomed tubing hill that feels just right. Everyone's slid on a sled or a sledding type device, and, and this is just kind of a bigger version of that in a little bit more of a controlled environment. Not just downhill, but catch a tube lift back up and take the drudging out of tubing. From small kids up to uh, adults, and it's a very a good family-oriented activity where they can hang out, socialize, spend the day together. Because going down the, the tube hill in an inner tube, have you tried it yet? Oh, You've got to like get it. down there. You feel like a kid. Nearby, another hillside called Snow Bunny, less grooming here, and you rent an old-fashioned inner tube. Good for large groups that are coming up because they can't have their own space. Um, and it is more affordable if you are coming up with a large number of people or on a, on a tighter budget. We get a lot of church groups that come out here and you get to experience all the fun of being in the elements and the snow play and the sensations of gliding down the hill. We try to cater to, to what you want to do when you get up here. Now, if you come to freelance in the Mount Hood National Forest, sled at your own risk is a real important rule to remember, along with these other rules at Little John Snow Park just off Highway 35. But there's something even more important to keep in mind. There's no snow! But that could change in a heartbeat. After all, it is a La Nina year, and we're supposed to be getting buckets of rain and feet of snow, and it's only January. So just wait a little while. Climb back up Highway 35 toward the mountain and reach White River Snow Park, a spacious and popular snow play area. Let's get some snowshoes on. It's where Devin Schwartz guides newcomers nice. who wear snowshoes on eastern approach to Mount Hood. It's one of the more popular destinations. It's just a few miles drive past government camp. Kind of works its way up the flanks of Mount Hood. Uh, it's popular for snowshoeing groups, kind of like we are. Everything from inner tubing, snowshoes. Backcountry skiers, mountaineers could come up this way if they wanted. It's a playground with plenty of elbow room and a stunning view that makes the effort worth your time. How are you doing? You're doing great. You'll be looking great no matter where you choose to play, and that's the point. Get out here and explore the Mount Hood National Forest in winter. Views like this and fresh snow, it's a good getaway, a world away. Yeah. <laughs> That really is true. It is a distant world away, and it requires you to keep a couple of things in mind. A snow park permit is required in most snow play areas. The money from the sale of the permits offsets the costs of snow removal along roadways and parking areas. Something else to keep in mind, winter is weather fickle, and the snow level can rise and fall thousands of feet each week. So check snow conditions and the weather forecast before you go. We've provided all the details, directions, and the contact information so you can find your own snow play area right here on the Travel Oregon website. So until next week, get out here and enjoy the great Oregon outdoors and let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McCombie.